Hello everyone, I'm Nikola Stanovsky, I'm one of the active members, most active members of Grand Macedonia. I will be talking about our education program along with uh, my colleague Natasha Nedanovska. We divided our activities and our progress so far uh, into two parts. I will be covering one part of, uh, of our major programs, well, one of uh, six at least, at least six major activities or accomplishments we did so far uh, regarding our education program and uh, I will be presenting in the following seven or so minutes uh, the seminars we did so far and some of the major activities we did up to now uh, my colleague will continue with the with the rest of the program so let's begin with the first major activity we did this year the first the first activity we did the major activity we did uh this year was meet serbia it was a project or an editing month challenge for wiki club members in the republic of macedonia it took place from uh 20th of january and lasted until uh 20th of February 2022. It was organized uh, by uh, Glam Macedonia with the cooperation of Embassy of, of Serbia in Skopje. The activity of the challenge lasted for one month and it, uh, it resulted with great success. Uh, during this month, uh, we had uh, 23 participants, active participants, that uh, took that contributed uh, on Wikipedia and we had uh, 1,206 art newly created articles regarding Serbia. Uh, we uh, selected five, um, five most uh, active uh, uh, participants and uh, for these people, for the students or users of Wikipedia, uh, the Embassy of uh, Serbian Skopje uh, prepared a special ceremony and it was on 23rd of March which uh, which uh, the where the uh, the ambas um, the ambassador of Serbia uh, gave appropriate awards I will continue my presentation with the seminars we did so far this year the first one was uh, the seminar uh, in uh, the school of uh, Goce Delcev in municipality of, of, of Aerodrome in Skopje where we had uh, 10 uh, new teachers trained to use and implement Wikipedia in their education uh, education uh, process. Uh, this seminar was held on February the 18th, 2022 and along uh, the main, uh, besides the main activity, besides the main topic, we had uh, a special seminar for media literacy on Wikipedia, we, uh, which was held by Tatiana Goguska, Master of Communication and Science, Sciences. Similar to this uh, seminar was the seminar uh, uh, held on March the 18th uh, in uh, the village of Vefchani near Struga, where 21 teachers were su successfully trained on media literacy and uh, Wikipedia usage. Uh, besides our main, uh, main activists, uh, uh, Tatiana Gogoska was also present there uh, uh, besides um, besides the main topic uh, on media literacy the stu the teachers were also introduced and uh, uh, and trained how to use wikipedia in their in their education process the next seminar which was held uh, or organized by our organization was the seminar for teachers in kuzmanisivski uh, pitus school in uh, skopje where uh, 34 teachers were successful, successfully trained on the similar topic as the previous two ones. It was held on 30th of June and uh, we had another guest who was speaking that was our uh, our colleague uh, Anna Vishnova and she was also sp uh, talking about media literacy uh, besides Tatiana Gogoska which wa who was uh, also present on the previous seminars. Similar to the seminars for teachers, we had uh, training sessions for students, new uh, students or new members 
who wanted to uh, to be part of this our global movement. We had uh, uh, 11 new members trained uh, in the primary school of Josip Broz uh, Tito in Skopje. I will. I would like to pay attention uh, to two more activities, uh, which uh, I think are quite important for our process and our movement here in Macedonia. It's the Wiki Senior Project, which was started, uh, uh, which which was started uh, one year ago, and so far we have uh, eight new editors, senior members, and who all together uh, created. 110 articles it can uh, we have a special project page on wikipedia where they enroll and they are trained by our active members and they are encouraged to contribute the uh, to the movement the last activity i would like to pay attention is the um, article by year at uh, project it's um it's a contest uh as a joint project with Shared Knowledge, another uh, another uh, organization in Macedonia, it was uh, it was an organ it was an event that lasted from April 18th until May 8th, and we had all together created uh, 42 uh, new uh, articles, and uh, uh, they were editing on different uh, topics divided by year, something which was which was missing on our Wikipedia. Uh, so far, we had a great uh, success, a great accomplishment, especially re uh, uh, regarding creating new articles, new content on Wikipedia and Macedonian, and uh, uh, more follows with our uh, of our colleague's presentation, Natasha Nedanoska. Hello, I'm Natasha Nedanoska, Macedonian language teacher in a primary school and a member of GLAM Macedonia as an educational educator and coordinator of Wikiclub Ohrid. In this address, I will talk about several topics related to the activities of the Wikiclubs through the country, as well as their cooperation with GLAM institutions. Wikiclubs our successful educational project we held from the 2016. So far, we established eight wiki clubs, but two of them are not so active. The most active wiki clubs in the first half of the year are wiki clubs in Skopje, Veles, and Ohrid. According to Outreach Dashboard Wiki Club 2022, wiki club members have more than 5,800 edited articles. On March this year, we have meeting with new Wiki Clubs members in the primary school Josip Tito Skopje in order to train newcomers on how to edit Wikipedia. Eleven new members were trained. As a sign of support for people struggling with the rare disease, in February we have the national campaign Getting to Know Rare Disease 2022. Our Wiki Club Ohrid will have one month additional marathon for editing articles as part of the national campaign Light Up for Rare. This is the fourth year in a row that Wiki Club Ohrid dedicate the month of February to enrich the con content as well as editing articles of the Macedonian language Wikipedia to realize our ends about the disease under the motto so that those who know about rare are not rare. 28 new articles were created on Macedonia Wikipedia about the rare disease this year. On the 14th of March 2022, there was an editathon with the theme Celebrate Woman. The activity was part of the Global Celebrate Woman Call, which take place during March. The editathon had 41 participants, which made a total of 239 new articles. All participants and their articles are created in one day. The activities were held in person in three cities, Skopje, Veles and Ohrid plus many editors get involved from their homes online. In Skopje, 
coordinator Anna Vishinova organized workshop for Wiki Club members in National Gallery. Eight young students were introduced to their art in which the main subject is the woman. The curators from the National Gallery lead the students through the rooms where the works of art were exhibited. At the end, the participants create articles about Macedonian women artists. In Veles, there was get, uh, gathering, gathering of wiki club members and seniors, and together they create articles about women artists. In Okrit, in the same time, wiki club Okrit members were actively involved in creating articles about women artists as well. On the 1st of April 2022, there was an editathon with the theme International Roma Day. The activity was part of the Global Call International Roma Day Editathon 2022. The editathon had 27 participants, which made a total of 128 new articles. On 24th of June 2022, there was an editathon with the theme World Refugee Day. The activity is part of the Global Call International Refugee Day Editathon 2022, which took place from 20 to 26 of June 2022. The Editathon had 19 participants, which made a total of 51 new articles. Wikicamp Mavrovo 2022 was a successfully and professionally organized camp for underage students for editing articles on Macedonia Wikipedia. The Wikicamp listed for three days from 6th to 8th of May 2022 and took place in Koraptornica complex in the Mavrovo region. 40 students from primary and secondary schools in Macedonia participate in editing Wikipedia articles in the Macedonian language. During these three days, they created 353 new articles on topics about flora and fauna on Macedonian Wikipedia. Among other activities of the wiki camp, lectures and trainings took place and collaborative workshops and advent on Advantage Wikipedia editing. There was a lecture about the way of conducting ex expedition field, research in the field of geography, nature, agriculture, cultural heritage, arch architecture and archaeology. The students are also had the opportunity for an organized walk in local cave Sharkova Dubka, and as well uh, as a lecture by graduate ecologist Ikmete Djupi from Mavrovo National Park. On February 2022, in Ohrid, we are continuing with collaboration with the National Park Galicica by sending Wikipedia in residence. First activity occurred on 2nd February with workshop and editing Wikipedia. Wiki Club Ohrid had a workshop in the National Park Galicica workshop entitled A World Without Swamp in A World Without Water. On the same topic, the students wrote several articles on Wikipedia in Macedonian language. The collaboration with the Natural Museum in Skopje, continuing with, the mount, uh, with creating new articles about butterflies and wasps living in Macedonia. This mount GLAM coordinator Anna Vishinova started a negotiation with the Museum of Macedonia and the Museum of the City Skopje in order to sign agreement of collaboration and to start with planet activities. In March 2022, in Ohrid, there was a workshop organized by Wikipedia in residence in the National Park Galicica. The workshop took place on 31st of March. Participants were introduced with the lecture of topic Amphibians and Reptiles in Galicica National Park. The lecture was led by Edi Ferchkovsky and Alexander Minev from IDSB and the host of the event was Angela Taseska from UNPG. The lecture was attended by students, members of Wikiclub Ohrid under the 
mentorship of the coordinator, Natasha Nelanovska, after this lecture, enriched with materials and information from the field of hepatology, participants enriched Macedonian Wikipedia with articles for the individual species.